That walk was amazing, but I am so hungry. Mr. Glaze, do you know where we can get some food? Yeah, I'm a little hungry too. You know what I'm in the mood for? I'm sure you are too, because you love it. Kale! Oh, uh-huh, yep. Well, they have some at Penny Pack Farm. Let's go check it out. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Penny Pack Organic Farm. What we're going to do is we're going to tell you a little bit about what the farmers do here at Pennypack Farm. We're going to show you some of the methods that they use to farm sustainably. And then we're going to have uh, Dr. D'Angelo and Mr. Glaze taste some delicious vegetables. So Pennypack Farm is, uh, sits on College Settlements land. We are their land host. And they farm about 18 acres of land on camp property. Uh, and they lease it from camp for one dollar a year. Now that's a great deal, but it's actually a great deal for both parties. Uh, they get to farm the land and they get to provide fresh fruit and veg for their shareholders, which we'll talk about in a moment. And in return, we get to bring kids to the farm to teach them about sustainable agriculture. And so hopefully maybe we'll meet the farm manager who's called Kirsty, and our sister who is Stephanie. And we've got a couple of farm interns. But as you can see from the land here, there's lots going on. We're using lots of natural methods to combat pests, to enrich the soil, and to grow delicious vegetables. And these guys, Pennypack Farm, they donate over 10,000 pounds to local food pantries every year. So they do a really important job and they work really hard. So let's go see what they're going to do today. So a really basic definition of organic farming is a farm that uses uh, no man-made chemicals to help keep pests away from the vegetables and fruits. One of the methods that an organic farm will use, and it is a lot more work, that's one thing I, I should say right off the bat, organic farming requires a lot more work than conventional farming, um, is they practice something called crop rotation. And what that means is each year they will move where they plant a given crop so that they can uh, avoid pests coming up out of the soil every year. So for example, if I were to plant tomatoes in this spot each and every year, the pests that typically eat tomatoes will thrive. They'll just know that's where I need to go, that's where I'll keep coming back, and they will continue to destroy the tomato crop. If I plant tomatoes here one year, and then shift over to the field over there, the next year what'll happen? The pests will die because they won't have any food to eat. So crop rotation is a very important part of organic farming and farming sustainably. All right, so Pennypack Farm is a CSA. It's a Community Sponsored Agriculture, which is just like uh, joining a club. You pay a membership and you get to come each week and you get a great box of varied vegetables, all farmed sustainably. Changes every week. You don't know what you're going to get, um, but it's always really good. Now, another way that the farmers try to make this farm as productive as possible is to get an early start on the season. Right now we're in a long tunnel and this whole building moves. It's on rails and so the farmers farm here when these carrots are big enough they will slide the whole building further up and start again and that means they can have carrots growing all year. These guys started during that big snowstorm we had. We already had carrots in the ground. Right now they're still small but let's see if we can pull one up. All right. Is this a carrot contest, Karen? This is a carrot contest, right, Josh. Who gets the biggest carrot? I Are want the biggest carrot. One, one two, two three. three. Okay. Obviously, my carrot is not as thick as yours, Josh. But, but it does have the uh, the length. It does. And um, look at that, man. So I'm going to take my mask down for a second. Some people put ranch dressing on their carrots. I like penny pack dirt. It's really good. I'm going to wipe mine off in the grass. <laughs> so if you like your carrot without mud all over it, uh, this is how a farmer went out in the field with no access to a lot of water to wash it off, will wash their carrot. You simply take your carrot or whatever vegetable it is that you happen to be trying to wash. You find a nice dewy bit of grass and Voila, you have one clean carrot. So we talk a lot about 
uh, ways that the farmers use natural methods to fertilize their soil, keep their plants healthy and keep away all the other animals that like to eat the vegetables that are for the share members. And another way that the farmers use natural methods is they bring in good bugs. In this hoop house here, the farmers will release thousands and thousands of ladybugs and they do a great job in eating aphids. Um, they also release these little non-stinging wasps and the little non-stinging wasps will actually parasitize some of the bugs that eat the plants. So the wasps will use them to lay their eggs and it's all pretty gross and amazing. Praying mantis, all these bugs that are out here and spiders, they also help the farmers. But if the farmers were to spray Roundup or a pesticide, it would kill all of them. And so the farmers don't want to do that. They are very careful, to use natural methods. We'll see, some, uh, we'll see some bluebirds and we'll see some swallows later on. And the farmers use those to come in and eat some of the caterpillars that also eat the plants. And of course we have owls, foxes and hawks, all who work very hard for the farmers, keeping down the rodents. And of course the hoop house right here, which does its best to keep some of the animals out. And that's just another secret Penny Pack Farm has to bring in us great vegetables. Plenty of vitamin C. Not bad. Not bad at all. What?